Hey there, friends. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone in Facebook land. Welcome. My name is Joy, and I'm the owner of SubRosaTea.com. Hi, everyone. For those of you who are brand new here, I have got a camera in front of me at eye level, and then I have a tablet right out of your line of sight that I'll be able to see all of your comments and questions. Hey, Kelly. Hi, Emily. Thanks for coming. Guys, we've got a special guest in the house. He's being a little shy right now. I don't know what he's doing. I'm sure he's going to make an appearance eventually. I don't know what he's doing right now. He thinks he's being smart, but maybe he's shy. Is he shy? So tell me this, friends. If someone came up to you today and they were really tired, and you were really tired and they said to you, hey, I think it would be a really great idea if you were on my Facebook Live tonight. What would you say? No, seriously, what would you say if a friend, a family member asked you to be on Facebook Live? Would you say, yes, absolutely, absolutely, we'll totally do that. Or would you be like, no, uh-uh, I'm, I'm gonna pass. So Mr. Sub Rosa T is here. He is being really shy and I can't tell you why because he needs to be back in the kitchen. He has agreed to show you some of the secrets of being Mr. Sub Rosa T. That's not true at all. He's really not going to do that. He's looking at me right now like, did I agree to that? No, he did not. But he is a very good bartender and normally I have no idea what he does. I will just tell him that I, I want something, like I want something chocolatey or I want something fruity, and he just presents me with a fabulous cocktail. So he is going to play bartender tonight. Now, again, for those of you who are brand new here, you've never been to one of our live sales, typically what I do talk about is our tea. I am the owner of Sub Rosa Tea. We have loose leaf tea, matcha, and blooming tea. So typically what you're going to see during a live sale is I'm going to talk about the tea accessories and I'm going to talk about the loose leaf tea. But today we're going to do something different. So we are just about ready. The kettle has come up to a boil and we're going to start with steeping the tea. I would like you to enter, I would like to actually introduce you to Mr. Sub Rosa tea. I think he's done now. He's shaken off the nerves. He's no longer shy. Oh my goodness. He's right off camera. He's still being really shy. So we now know that the way the camera works, I do have a microphone attached to my camera, but we know that you probably can't see both of us at the same time. So he can stand out of camera and, you know, do jumping jacks and upside down and all the things. Oh, look, Isabella is here. Hello, Princess Isabella. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you for coming. Hey, Monica. Come, Papa. Princess Isabella would like to see you. Hey guys, look at this mullet. Okay, there's a 15 second delay. So like we can't see that you can see him. We don't know if he needs to stand back because look how short I am. He is in charge of all like the um, tall person things. Look at, okay, look at the giant. Okay, step back, step back. He's such a giant, you can't even see him. The camera is angled so you guys can see me and the countertop. So anyway, this is Mr. Sub Rosa T. <laughs> Princess Isabella is jumping up and down and screeching. So our granddaughter is three years old and we obviously have not seen her in weeks and weeks. So we were just inviting <laughs> all of the family to join us here live as well. So again, he's still being shy. He does talk. He doesn't actually need a microphone. He could actually say words, but he's not. So, oh, Kelly says, hello, Mr. Sub Rosa. Anyway. Hello, Kelly. Oh, see, he does talk. He has words. Hello, so, Isabella. For those of you who do not actually have never met him, this is not his normal hair. Um, I gave him a quarantine mullet. He's very proudly sporting um, a fabulous haircut right now. Guys, really, what's going on at your house? Have you done haircuts? Have you done coloring? What's going on over there? Oh, Katie. Katie says get a haircut. Oh no, Katrina. He will not get a haircut. He thinks this is fabulous. He's going to grow it all out. 
So anyway, we really are going to get to work and we are really going to show you some tea. All right, so Jeffrey's got a job to do. He is in the back. The first thing we are actually going to start with is our Choco Teeny. He's not actually sharing with me the whole recipe. He's only sharing me bits and pieces, so he will do some things on camera, I promise, so you know what's going on. So the first thing, I again, I do have a kettle, just came off a boil before we started. So we're first gonna start with chocolate mint rooibos. Let me bring the, it up to the camera here. Friends, this is chocolate mint. A rooibos is caffeine-free, and it's known to be good for insomnia, headaches, and inflammation. So Jessica says, thankfully got haircuts before the quarantine, including the dog. So, so smart, Jessica. Hi, Amy, haven't seen you in forever. And Tanya, are, are you making some stuff? You just go stand in the background. I'm waiting for you. He's just, he's just being a weirdo. Friends, we are almost never together and we're definitely never in the kitchen together. So this could go sideways super fast. Okay, you know what I'm saying right now. Anyway, so we're going to start with the chocolate mint rooibos. Again, it's caffeine free. Friends, this literally tastes like a Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookie. It is milk, chocolate, and peppermint. Jessica says it's currently her favorite caffeine free tea. So we're going to start with this and I wanted to show you the tea. The tea looks like this. All the little red bits, this is rooibos. And we are an all natural company. So you are going to literally see big chunks of chocolate and peppermint and cocoa beans. Yes, friends, it is all in here. So we are going to use our stackable teapot. Again, this is kind of a Facebook Live, but not really. So I have to at least do my job and show you the products that we do sell. These teapots do make two cups, which is enough for you and for this guy over here, right? Not me, am I gonna have a choco teeny? Oh yes, I am, but not till the video's done. So tea goes in, boiling water. So we have decided that we are going to steep our tea nice and hot, even though we're gonna make a martini, okay? Which is gonna be cold, obviously, but we've got crushed ice waiting in the background. So anyway, Monica says, how you ever keep all of this info in your head amazes me. Well, girlfriend, I have been doing this for quite some time. It does come naturally. You know, like, anything that you're passionate about, right? I think you shared with us in another one of our lives, you know, some of the great things that you do with all of that land up in Maine, and I'm sure you have it all in your head too. So Lisa has never tasted a chocolate tea. Oh my gosh, girlfriend, you are gonna be blown away. In my opinion, I will never go back to hot chocolate ever again. Chocolate tea is definitely the way to go. Amy says, I love that teapot. She's got the pink rose one. So does Princess Il Isabella. Is Izzy still watching? I don't know, but she's got a teapot too, and her teapot is white, and it has like a little stackable cake to it. I think we still have some in inventory if you guys are interested. They're on the top shelf hidden web page. Most of you are here because we're having a big sale right now. Everything is 20% off on our website now through midnight on Wednesday. That's Wednesday, April 30th. So do you have the code? Did you see in the beginning? We've got a code right now. So it's VMD 2020. And if you type that in, you're going to get 20% off your order. So I know some of you have never been here before and you're not even familiar with the product. So feel free to ask questions. So Denise says the chocolate tea is the bomb. Thank you. And Karen also likes the chocolate tea. So it's just, you know, one of those great things that because it's all natural, you're going to get all the great taste of chocolate but literally none of the sugar. I am I have to kind of assume that you're not actually going to eat the tea leaves. We don't do that, right? We steep the tea. So the end result, the actual tea that we're steeping, no calories, no sugar, no carbs, which is fabulous. Hey there, Pamela, thanks for coming. Okay, so again, we are making a chocotini. So the first thing we did, we are hot steeping our chocolate, our mint, our chocolate mint rooibos tea. I'm actually going to set this aside for now because we need to get to some other things. We got to do some other things. So Lexi says, 
that Izzy says she has the best teapot in the world. Thank you, Princess Isabella. I appreciate that. Well then, friends, we've never had 30 people on a live before, so it must be the tall guy in the background who's just lurching. You can't even see him. He's off camera. He's just looking around. He doesn't know what to do. Anyway, I am glad that you guys like the teapots. Like I was saying, this teapot, it makes two cups. It's dishwasher safe, and it will keep your tea hot for two hours, which we're not actually going to do, okay? We are actually going to steep the tea. And if you didn't see, it does come with an infuser basket because we sell loose leaf tea. So I'm going to move on. We've got three drinks that we are going to be preparing for you, mostly again because Mr. Sub Rosa Tea is the bartender and he makes the best drinks. <laughs> Megan says, I can only see half of him. Is it the bottom half? Because the camera is angled down right now because I'm so short. I think, is he like getting cut off anyway? He's being so goofy. I'm sorry, you guys. Anyway, and the volume in his hair, yeah. I know, right? It's almost like a rooster in the morning. I mean, it's like John Travolta. The pompadour is amazing. And you also should have seen it before I like gave him a mullet. It, he doesn't always look like this, but today he does. Okay, so anyway, we're also going to next up, we are going to be making a fruit tea cocktail. I know so many of you are interested in our fruit tea combo pack. And some of you have already bought it, and you know that you can make sangria with the fruit tea combo pack, but did you know you can absolutely make a cocktail? Let's make some fruit cocktail. So let's see. Megan says, no, it's his right side. He's only <laughs> he's one half of a man. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about fruit tea combo really quick. Can I have some water, please? Like halfway full. We do actually have a functioning sink, but it makes noise, so I don't want to do it too often. So, friends, we currently have a fruit tea combo pack on our website. It has four of our flavors of loose leaf tea. And in the combo pack, you're going to get all four two ounces of the tea and the jug, the jug that I am working with right now. So the first two teas that you're going to get in our fruit tea combo pack the black tea, which is afternoon apricot. It's got apricot and mango. The oolong peach, which is like orchard fresh peaches. We also have the raspberry earl gray, which is a black tea with raspberry and orange. And the blood orange mango. So the fruit tea combo pack, you will get a whole two ounce of all four of these and this jug. This jug is made out of glass. It does make six cups. We're not going to make six cups because we're just making fruit cocktails for the two of us. But I am going to use the same ratio of our fruit tea that we did to make sangria or fruit tea. If you just want to make fruit tea, you're going to put a tablespoon of each of those four flavors together. Fill up the jug with cold water. Done. Fruit tea. 20 minutes in the fridge. That is right. You can absolutely cold steep our loose leaf tea. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes right in the fridge in cold water. You've got great fruit tea in this jug. Can you see the jug? The tea leaves will be strained by the lid. So the leaves are going to go down here in the water. I'm going to do that in just a minute. You can make sangria with this. You put the same ratio, a scoop, a tablespoon of each of our four fruit teas into the jug with a bottle of white wine or a bottle of red wine. Again, steep it cold in about 15 to 20 minutes. You'll great sangria. Today, friends, we're gonna make a fruit tea cocktail. So, same ratio. This one in particular, I had a really huge chunk of the blood orange mango that was nice and dried. So we're gonna put all the loose leaf tea in and only about half the water. So we are going to be making fruit tea in, let's say, half the time. It's going to be extra concentrated for a reason because we are going to add some other ingredients to make our fruit tea cocktail. So Jessica says, how does the Earl Grey raspberry compare to romancing the raspberry? That's a great question. So the romancing the raspberry is a black tea and it has chocolate and raspberry and it does have caffeine. It's a black tea just like the raspberry Earl Grey, but raspberry Earl Grey is made with bergamot, which is technically orange. So one is chocolate raspberry, 
the Romancing the Raspberries Chocolate Raspberry, and the Raspberry Earl Grey is Raspberry Orange. So, Lisa says, nice jug, Lexi. <laughs> Lexi says, Papa needs to scoot over and smile. <laughs> well, we have to agree with that, don't we, Lexi? Is Isabella drinking tea tonight? What are you having, sweetheart? As most of you know, Princess Isabella is our three-year-old grandchild, so I love that she's here and awake and drinking tea with us tonight, even though we're all in quarantine. <laughs> So anyway, so friends, first of all, discount until tomorrow night at midnight. You get 20% off all online orders with this discount code. We'll put it in the comments for you. But I also wanted you to know there is a hidden web page. So if you are brand new to Sub Rosa Tea, you might not even know it. If you go to our website, you'll see we've got a, f a fabulous amount of pages. It's all really organized. But we have a hidden web page that only our Facebook group really knows about. It's called the Top Shelf Club. So over on the Top Shelf Club, we have our Fruit Tea Combo Pack. We have it over there because it is technically a limited edition item, okay? It's limited edition. So in addition to it being limited edition, it's on sale. You literally get a discounted price just by buying it. And then even more of a discount if you use the 20% off code. I also bring it up because... Um, Jessica and I were just talking about Romancing the Raspberry. That is a limited edition flavor. You're not going to just find it on our website. Ooh, tall guy is just being creepy, right? Ooh, he's just like weird over my shoulder. We didn't think this through very well, did we, guys? I'm now going to steep cold this fruit tea combo, and I'm going to set it aside. Mr. Sub Rosa Tea is going to take the reins. He's not really, but he... He wants to, I can tell. I can tell. Who's got a question for Mr. Sub Rosa T? Anybody? Anybody? Should I give the reins over to him? Who's got a question for Mr. Sub Rosa T while he's here? So the first one that I'm going to make is the uh, chocolate martini that she was talking about. Um, normally you'd have your tea cold, obviously, but we're doing this live, so we wanted to hot steep it. The ice should cool it down plenty. It'll be fine. Um, just a couple ingredients. You need some vodka. I'm using a vanilla vodka for it today. And I'm going to garnish the glasses with our chocolate matcha. Um, and then we're going to do something else with the chocolate matcha later on. But I'm going to garnish the glasses with that first. And then I'm going to make the mix. So I already... I already put lemon juice on the rim to try to get this uh, something and make this uh, matcha stick. And it's not working too well because it's probably dried up a little bit. Let me go get the lemon again. I'll do it on this glass. So again, friends, we are making a Choco Teeny. So we're using a chocolate tea and we are using our chocolate matcha to garnish the rim of the martini glass. So what he, he needs something that is wet um, to make any garnish or rim dressing stick. So it has to be something wet. So we had a lemon in the house. So that's what he is doing. Karen just corrected me. Yes, the code actually goes all the way till April 30th, which is Thursday, because we are in social isolation and I do not know what day it is. So, oh my goodness. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. So, <laughs> so we are again garnishing with matcha for this particular cocktail. So we have got our two cocktail glasses. We've got our lemon. So what he did was he poured hot tea into our martini shaker. Hold on. Hold on. You were like so off camera. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Friends, it's just the way uh, Facebook is and our camera and our kitchen. Okay, I think he's centered now. Okay, go ahead. So he's got his hot tea in with a bunch of ice into the martini shaker. 
And he's pouring in some vanilla flavored vodka. And he is going to shake this up and pray that um, we don't make a mess on camera because that would be fun. He is adding a little bit of chocolate liqueur just for a little darker color to give it a creamy look. It's not really for anything other than that. There is a little bit of alcohol in it. But pretty simple to make. And once this is all shaken, we'll sift it out into the glasses. And it's a little bubbly because I poured it too quickly. But I wanted to garnish this with a strawberry, which we don't have. So, this is... A Chocotini! <laughs> your Chocotini. <laughs> oh, do you see? He even gave you a smile and a wink at the end. Oh my gosh. Yes, Monica. Totally. Whipped cream on top. Absolutely. So, for those of you who don't know, while I do run this Facebook page, Sub Rosa Tea, we also have several groups, and we invite you to join our Sub Rosa Tea Top Shelf Club group. It's a free Facebook group. We do talk more in depth about health information, of recipes. We offer to you limited edition flavors. We do discounts, giveaways, all kinds of super, super fun things. So um, I also run a group called Keto Tea and Me. Uh, Mr. Sub Rosa T and I have been living a keto lifestyle pretty strictly since August. I think I started in July and then he joined me in August. So we do have heavy whipping cream in the house, but we don't have a vast majority of other things that other people might have. But this is the Choco Teeny. So yes, I do think a strawberry would have been nice to garnish, don't you think? But we actually have fresh blackberries. And I asked him if uh, he wanted to try to somehow garnish our martini glass with a blackberry. And he just looked at me like, what? I'm like, oh yes, chocolate and blackberries for sure, right? Absolutely. Anyway, friends, I'm going to um, just set these aside. Should we have a sip? We're going to just take a sip. I, I really don't like it when they do this on cooking channels, but we're going to take a sip. I love how cold it got so fast, mm -hmm. even though we steeped it hot. So keep that in mind if you're having a party. Don't hesitate to steep it hot. Mr. Sub Rosa T is going to whisk these off camera so we do not knock them over because that could be a problem. Sharon says, oh, hey, Sharon. Oh, don't worry about being late, girl. I love that you're here. So I want to introduce you to Mr. Sub Rosa T. He is in the kitchen making cocktails for us tonight. So again, I am cold steeping some fruit tea because we're going to make a fruit tea cocktail later. But we've got one more to make. We're going to move that aside. We're going to move that aside. So we've got one more that I want to get steeping before it gets too late. So I'm going to make you a, a Lake Erie Crusher. Okay, so um, for those of you that don't know, I we are from Sandusky, Ohio, which happens to be right on the shores of Lake Erie. Lake Erie is one of the Great Lakes, so I hope everyone knows where Lake Erie is, no matter where in the United States you are watching us from. So we're going to make something called the Lake Erie Crusher. We're going to use our blue confetti tea. This tea, I want to show it to you first. This tea I created based on my love of Funfetti birthday cake. Do you know what I mean? So it has a sweet vanilla taste to it. And it's got these big, beautiful flowers, among other things. So you're going to see how this tea is going to turn the color blue. Well, at least it would. By the way, we do sell these glass teapots. This is our blooming teapot. Mr. Sub Rosa Tea, can you fill this up to uh, 35 ounces. So this is our glass teapot and it does both. It does blooming tea and also loose leaf tea. So can you tell that there's an insert in here and this insert is for loose leaf tea which is what I'm going to be making now instead of blooming tea. So first off 
We're gonna put in the blue confetti tea right in. Next tea in our Lake Erie Crusher is the purple rain. I'm going to try to bring my kettle up to a boil and hopefully I won't lose the connection that has happened in the past, which is normally why I don't go ahead and um, put anything on the kettle while I'm talking. The next tea, friends, is purple rain. So this is purple tea. Did you see we just added purple tea to our website literally three days ago? We now have plain unflavored purple tea in our catalog and purple tea has anthocyanins, which are anti-cancer health benefits. So we here have added purple tea to lemon and elderberry. Lemon and elderberry. So the lemon, normally this tea, the blue confetti tea would steep up nice and blue and I've done that before on camera. However, since I'm adding this purple uh, rain to the tea that has lemon in it, we believe it's going to steep up a completely different color for you. So Kim just said, do you have a storefront in Sandusky? No, ma'am, I do not. I've never had a storefront in Sandusky. I've been in business since June of 2012, and we are pop-up style vendors. That makes us sound like carnies, doesn't it? That we travel normally for a living. Um, I'm normally gone about 40 weekends out of the year. So um, you may never have seen my face because I have staff members as well and they traveled with the tea to pop up style events, craft shows, art shows, festivals, fairs, all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, Denise just says I love the purple rain and have some chillin' with Shisandra. Awesome, awesome. And Sharon, thanks for sharing the video. I don't really know what we're doing here today. It wasn't as scripted as typical, but if any of you who are watching do have questions for us, don't hesitate. I know a lot of people are new to our community, our brand. I just wanted to get you, you know, I wanted to take this time to be present for you, to be of service to you, to let you know about our tea, our products, and basically just have some fun, right? We can't travel right now. We can't go anywhere. And that's okay. This is what it is. But at least we can do this. We can make some quarantines, right, friends? And again, right now, I'm going to make you a Lake Erie Crusher. So we're going to pour this hot water over the tea leaves. And I'm only going to steep half. So this is an awful lot of tea and only half the water. So typically when I make a cocktail, a latte, a brew of some sort where I'm going to somehow dilute the tea with another liquid, I want to make the tea portion super concentrated. So that's why you saw me dump so much tea in. Let's see, I do need more water. That might do it though. So again, friends, if you're brand new here, we sell loose leaf tea. So everything here is loose leaf tea. All right, Lisa says, is there a minimum order to get free shipping? Let's see. So Lisa, you might like to know, friend, I'm gonna do better than free shipping, okay? It's 20% right now. Everything is 20% our website right now. So free shipping might save you I don't know, three or four dollars, but 20%, girlfriend, that could really save you a lot. And that does depend on how much you um, buy, of course. So anyway, Irene, I have some key lime salon. Any cocktail recipes? Oh, I love the key lime. That one makes a fabulous martini. Instead of what you see me doing here where I am steeping the tea in hot water, I would cold steep the key lime right in gin or vodka. I think that key lime, it's so strong, so fruity, so fabulous. And um, I would add a pinch of pineapple juice to the key lime. And one of the ingredients in the key lime salon is pineapple. So instead of adding like honey or sugar or another juice, I would try to play with the ingredients that are already in that tea. So, oh, think about it, pineapple rum. We've got some of that, girl. Pineapple rum, that would be great with the key lime. Good question. Kim says, lots of great ideas. Looking forward to checking out the secret site. Awesome. Oh, and we just pinned that, okay? Kim, so make sure that you copy and paste 
the secret hidden web page, and then bookmark it. Bookmark it on your tablet, on your phone, so you can find it again, because we add things there all the time. Okay, we do. We add things there all the time. So again, I'm making a Lake Erie Crusher, and that is both blue tea and purple tea, and it's already looking really pink. Normally, the blue confetti will um, turn the tea blue, and then adding some lemon makes it turn like pinky purple. So I can see that it's already doing that. I'm gonna set that aside. We are almost ready, Mr. Sub Rosa Tea, for the fruit tea cocktail. We're back to the fruit tea cocktail. So I think the fruit tea is done steeping. How are you gonna mix it? Um, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna pour it into here? Yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna put a uh, shot of the vanilla vodka each of these glasses. Oops. And then we'll pour the tea right in there. And again, this is another one that would be good if you, uh, Add the tea, the tea chilled overnight. And this one we will garnish with the with the uh, blueberries in the bottom. And you can use any kind of fruit. Might have made these a little strong. <laughs> I didn't realize these glasses are so small. So because we are keto, we have all kinds of good things in our house like frozen fruit. And uh, right now we're gonna use fresh fruit. This is a blackberry, I think you said blueberry, but anyway. Hey there, Julie, thanks for coming. Do you sell those pitchers? Absolutely, we do, Julie. So we sell this, this is called our mist iced tea jug. It comes in red lid, white, black, and green, okay? We sell these on the tea accessories page called our iced tea jug. However, Julie, you might like to know that we currently have this iced tea jug and four of our teas all together. And the item is called Fruit Tea Combo Pack. The Fruit Tea Combo Pack <coughs> has four two ounces of our fruit teas. And yes, you can absolutely enjoy them by themselves but they are great together. So what we did here is we mixed a tablespoon of all of those four fruit teas into the jug with cold water, it would be iced tea, with wine, it would be sangria, and today we made a fruit tea cocktail. Cheers, y'all. And you could put pineapple rum with this, which is what I should have done. <laughs> Yeah, I would have done that. Okay, so anyway, beautiful. I mean, personally, do we need an excuse to use our champagne flutes, friends? I do not think so. I mean, I got this beautiful stemware for my wedding. We cannot really have a dinner party right now, but we can still drink fabulous drinks out of our fabulous stemware. So Jessica just said, what alcohol went into the bottom? Jessica, our plan was to use the pineapple rum. Okay, so pineapple rum to make a fruit tea cocktail, and that's something that we love. We just happen to love rum, so we had it. And uh, Mr. Sub Rosa Tea, who is A, not a planner, B, super tall, so the air is thinner up there. He used the vanilla vodka, but, you know, it happens. It happens, friends. We did not rehearse this at all. So for those of you that I love how absolutely nobody has a question for Mr. Sub Rosa T. I can respect your choices. He's kind of an open book right now. But, so like I was saying, I'm a planner. This guy, not even a little bit. It was 647, y'all. And I was like, so what are you making? He's like, what are you making? I was like, no, like I delegated that to you. 
you got nothing. So this is super fun. Also, this guy over here can work 24 hours a day. Isn't that interesting? I do not have that ability. We are very, very different people. I like sleep and I like a lot of it. That is the deal. But this guy can work 24 hours, which I think is hysterical. Mr. Sub Rosa T loves long car rides. Smash that heart button for me right now if you love long car rides. Not this girl. No, if it's like 20 minutes, I'm done. Like I need to get out, I need air, I need to stretch. I'm having convulsions after 20 minutes, which is really funny because I literally drive for a living. Well, I used to, now I'm on Facebook, right? Having cocktails. That's not all bad. I like how I just took his, I think. I think I just took his you cocktail. Did. Okay, good. So anyway, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, fabulousness. Okay, one more thing that I wrote down also, for those of you who do not know, the reason you've never seen him before is because he works nights and he's a night owl, which also makes us very different because I am very tired by 7 p.m. at night and he is ready to go. So I gotta love that he is absolutely ready to do these videos. So if you missed it, the first tea that we made was, the first cocktail we made was Chocotini. Okay, so that was with chocolate mint, rooibos tea, and the chocolate fabulous things. He just did some things. You can watch on the replay, right? Use that hashtag replay. If you are not here live with us, please do that for me. And of course, feel free to ask questions. Really, we are being a little silly here on the video, but um, we've I got one more to go. I put the pineapple rum in there. Try that. That's Ooh. fabulous. Oh, gosh, I like pineapple rum. This guy, smarter than he looks. Yes, I've said it before, and I stick to it. Oh, my goodness, I forgot we were making a um, Lake Erie Crusher. Crusher. Yes, I've had one sip of alcohol, and already my brain. This is fun. Yay, good. Okay, so Lake Erie Crusher. Once again, friends, we do sell this teapot. And we have got a mix in here, this beautiful, beautiful color. I knew it would be beautiful, but I, I don't know if it's translating well into the camera. It is astounding. So we've got our blue confetti, which is a caffeine-free tea. Normally, it turns the color blue. And it tastes like vanilla funfetti birthday cake. We added the blue confetti to Purple Rain, okay? So Katie says, which cocktail is your favorite? Does Mr. Sub Rosa Tea have a favorite cocktail? Well, this happened totally by mistake, but I like the vodka with the rum, oh, but it's a little bit strong. So I wouldn't recommend that for everybody. It is. It is a little bit strong. I've had like, like a little zip and it was really good. Anyway. You're so pretty. Stop. <laughs> 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 okay. So we've got one more. We've got one more for you. Okay, friends, here we go. We've got one more. So Lake Erie Crusher, what are we gonna put in this Lake Erie Crusher? We're gonna put the, we're gonna put the vanilla vodka in it. Vanilla vodka. And then. That's a lot of vodka for one night. I know, that's more vodka than I drank in a week, but tonight it's gonna be different. That's a lot. Okay, so anyway, neither one glasses. of us are driving, so don't worry. Don't worry. We need pretty glasses for the pretty, the pretty Lake Erie Crusher. Personally, I think like a red wine goblet would be fabulous for Lake Erie Crusher. But anyway, so where are y'all from? Like I said, we're from the shores of Lake Erie. That's why we're making you a Lake Erie Crusher. And if you did not know, Sandusky, Ohio is the home of Cedar Point. Cedar Point has been an amusement park that is literally celebrating 150, 150 years this year. Yeah, it's an amusement park that's only open seasonally. Katie says, I may regret my question after that. Thank you, Katrina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Renee. Hey, girlfriend. We're making cocktails tonight. We're making quarantinis, actually. That's what we're doing. So, yes, Renee, you're going to have to watch this on the replay because we're having a little too much fun over here. Amelia says, West Virginia, thank you. Oh, and Kim is right around the corner. So, anyway, as I was saying, Cedar Point, 
Woo, Cedar Point used to, 150 years, isn't that something? They're celebrating their golden anniversary this year and they may not open. Who knows, right? Who knows what's going on? But we, the reason why this is important is we live in vacation land. So we live in an area that's literally determined, it's called vacation land. People actually come here. They come to this area. They come to see... Um, they come to see Cedar Point, of course, but then they stay. There's Lake Erie Islands. There are islands in our Great Lake. People come for Putin Bay and Kelly's Island. Um, they come for camping, fishing, boating is a really big one. And because the area is so developed, basically, I think, because of Cedar Point, it has now expanded into we have huge indoor water parks here as well so it's a tourist destination pretty much all year it really is so i did steep this hot and i want to make sure that we're not putting really hot liquid into my beautiful stem we're, we're chilling it. oh my goodness gracious you gotta watch this guy right you gotta watch this guy so anywhere yeah so has everyone been to cedar point oh hey christy from pittsburgh thanks for coming so we've got some local girls and some far away friends thanks for watching i appreciate it so we're making quarantinis today. We have the Choco Teeny. And since uh, he'll be a second, I'll bring it forward. We only have so much room in front of the camera. So Renee, if you're still there, we made a Choco Teeny. This started with the chocolate mint rooibos tea. I steeped it hot. And then we've got great uh, vodka in here. We rimmed the glass with matcha, which is kind of a fun thing to do. We made a fruit tea cocktail. So we cold steeped our fruit tea blend. We now have a fruit tea combo pack. It comes with a jug and four of our fruit teas. We cold steeped it and then we put it in with the pineapple rum. So we did that. And then lastly, we're making you a Lake Erie Crusher. Oh my gosh, this color, you guys, can you see it? It's so, so pretty. So let's see, Megan says that she's seen your class trip, absolutely. The mist jug is awesome, I now have two, right? Using them all the time, that is what everyone says. They're in constant use, absolutely. Oh, that's right, Renee. I just did a video today earlier about um, chocolate could possibly cause kidney stones. I can only imagine how much chocolate a person would have to eat. Because I really think like 90% of Americans love their chocolate and we're not all walking around with troubled kidneys. So it's got to be one heck of a lot. So Amelia says, I can't wait for the jug. It's coming. I promise. I promise. Now, this is a very light color. Are we? We are still way too cold. I think this needs to be shocked, Mr. Howe. Can you put this in the back? Can you take the tea out, the tea leaves out in the back, mm -hmm. and put some ice into the blooming teapot? I think that would help. So I just decided to steep it hot because I did want it really concentrated. And of course, I was in a hurry, right? This is not like a professional commercial kitchen. So the camera is sedentary on a tripod. We can't just move all the way around. So anyway, Julie, yes, that blue confetti. It's a good one. I got to tell you, everyone loves it. It was actually our best seller just a few months ago on the website. And I, I just, I never know. I never know it's going to be, you know, very popular. So personally so what we are doing is kind of like shocking the tea so we steeped it hot and then we're stopping the hot steep process by shocking it with ice cubes this is something that we do quite often in the kitchen let's say you're steaming green beans if you've steamed the green beans you should immediately put them into a bowl of ice cold water with ice in it to stop the cooking process because nobody really likes mushy green beans. So that's exactly what we're doing with the tea. We've steeped it, it's beautiful and fabulous. Also, I'm a little worried to put super hot tea into, can I have another yep. wine glass please? Because I am not drinking alone. I don't know what he was thinking. Are we gonna share? Do I look like a girl who would share? Absolutely not. I need my own, I think. So once again... If we were quarantining, we could bring the kids over and we could have a good night. Oh, maybe. I just...
can't get over this color. This color, it's just astounding how gorgeous it is. So, so beautiful. And honestly, extremely healthy. Purple tea, like I said, has anthocyanins, elderberries for your immune system. I was trying to be fun, but I have to tell you, there's just so much good stuff this about really, the tea. This is really good. This is really good, he says. But I wish we had strawberries. He's sad. He's sad that there's no Very strawberries sure. for our, our Lake Erie Crusher. Sorry, friends. Sorry about that. But once again, friends, we do sell the Blooming Glass Teapots. And the Lake Erie Crusher was a 50-50 blend of the Blue Confetti and the Purple Rain. Anybody else have questions for Mr. Sub Rosa Tea? Mr. Sub Rosa Tea, when was your very first cup of tea? Do you remember? Mm, about eight years ago when my lovely wife came up with this idea to start her own tea business. Um, I was a heavy coffee drinker. I drank like two pots a day. Um, I still drink a little bit of coffee, but now I'm down to probably a cup, if that. Uh, most of the time I drink tea. I take tea to work. Love it. Keeps me hydrated. It's good for the immune system. Um, the problem with taking it to work, though, I work with a lot of guys. I work on the railroad. You know, we're kind of macho, you know, work outside, tough guys. And when they smell these lovely flavors in the vehicle, they want it. And then I come home and ask my wife if I could have some tea to take to the guys at work. But She's in business for business, so it doesn't always work that well. Uh, they get a little bit envious because my wife is also a great cook. I come in with these fine meals, so everybody at work thinks I'm a little bit spoiled because I have such a lovely wife who does a great job and takes care of me. Couldn't do it without her. So. Oh my gosh, let's ask him another question. He's just being silly right now, isn't he? Are you drinking? What are you drinking? Yeah. I'm drinking this. The fruit tea cocktail. Mm, this is so good. Oh, okay. So, um, Kelly says, yes, we should now call you Mr. T. Thank you, Kelly. We appreciate that. So, Kelly, who is watching right now, is actually um, at my very, very first farmer's market. If you have never heard the very beginning of Sub Rosa Tea, I was making cheesecakes for restaurants and how I was doing that was I got married and I thought to myself well I'm married now I've got the guy I have to make him good meals right I have to make him good meals and that means desserts as well he was very skinny when I met him <laughs> so uh, I got to cooking and to baking and he would um, take the desserts to work and people would see the desserts and then people started taking their little piece of dessert that he would share with them to other people and that's how we got our cheesecakes into restaurants well once again this is the code just so you guys know everything's 20 percent off and there is a box when you're at checkout there's a box for order notes which if you're like leaving like if you're buying a birthday present and you want me to handwrite a note like happy birthday uncle larry i will totally do that but then at the next screen right before you check out there's a box that literally says discount code okay so you're going to put that code in the box and it will apply and take 20 percent off so anyway we were um I was making cheesecakes. I gained so much weight. It was ridiculous. Uh, by the way, lots and lots of very hard work, um, you know, and fickle things, you know, uh, ovens that wouldn't hold their temperature, cheesecakes that didn't set up properly. So when I realized that I could make super awesome, great tasting tea that had absolutely no calories and no sugar and had health benefits on top of all of that, I really thought I owed it to myself to give it a try as a business. So I marched myself down to the local farmer's market and my friend Kelly was there and he sat with me and uh, yeah, I sold $40. So I don't even know how I'm still in business today. I think in hindsight, it's amazing that I sold anything because I really didn't know what I was doing. 
Um, it was just one of those things. It was just one of those things, but here we are today, right? Here we are. Karen says, what alcohol did you add to the fruit tea cocktail? I would have added the pineapple rum. I really thought that's where we were going with this. With a little bit of pineapple, but I like the tea, so it's good with just the pineapple rum. The tea has enough flavor on its own that you really don't need to add any pineapple juice or anything to it. You could if you like. Uh, but mistakenly I added vanilla vodka and the combination of both vanilla vodka and the, the pineapple, pineapple rum, rum is fabulous so you could work it that way. So have fun Karen what do you have at your house right have fun think about bumping up the flavors that it already has I mean it's got apricot and mango and peach and orange and citrus I, it's got a little pineapple like it already has all these great notes so I would just advise you to work with it, not against it. You see what I'm saying? And for those of you that don't know, I have been doing four live sales a week since I've been in social isolation, okay? So if you would actually like to see a traditional live sale video, if that's why you're here and you are not familiar with our products, I do advise you to just go to the Sub Rosa Tea page. You'll see I do lots of videos, quite frankly. So I've talked about all the flavors of tea. I've done other demonstrations, the blooming tea, the matcha, the loose leaf tea, all that kind of good stuff. But right now we're having a big sale. So I don't want you to, I want to make sure that everyone takes advantage of it. And hint, hint, Mother's Day is coming, okay? Yeah, Mother's Day. Yeah, really, Mother's Day, okay? So 20% off, let me do the shipping. We have really beautiful gift sets on our website. Beautiful boxes with a bow for them to open. We've got bigger gift sets too and smaller. So whatever you're looking for, whether it be a graduation present, Father's Day, birthday, I got you covered. We've got lots and lots of options. And like I said, everything's 20% off. And Lexi just commented, haha, professional bartender over there. Well, Lexi, you're more than welcome to come over because I know you'd love this stuff. My daughter, Lexi, was a bartender at one time, so she's making fun of me, but that's okay. <laughs> I enjoy it. Uh, you would really love this tea. And I know with the uh, two monsters that you're dealing with right now, this would be a fabulous way to deal with it. So... And I do want to Sorry take the opportunity um, just to make sure that everyone knows Jeffrey is wearing a shirt that was designed by Christopher Deegan. He is a local artist in the Cleveland area. Um, I put the camera around so you should be able to read it. Christopher Deegan actually hand draws these beautiful cityscapes and he's done them for multiple cities. So I know some of you are not anywhere near Cleveland, but he has other cities as well. So if you do um, have the ability to support an artist, please do find Chris Deegan Art on Facebook. We're going to try to tag it. Um, his shirts are beautiful. He sells prints, posters, larger, framed. He sells originals. He will do custom artwork. But Christopher Deegan is an artist that we've seen for years and he really is extremely talented so we i didn't want to forget to mention christopher and i'm a big fan of christopher's art um if you are into the opera or theater or anything like that he's got a fabulous print that he did for broadway um it's it's just beautiful i can't it's got all the plays he does he, everything on this is hand drawn he doesn't i asked him one time how he gets the line so straight, what kind of ruler he uses that he can see through. He's like, I don't even use a ruler. So, I mean, Chris Deegan is phenomenal. I love his artwork. He's got a very creative mind. He's a good guy. So definitely check out his website. Um, big fan of him. He loves industrial type art. I'm big into industrial art. So uh, definitely a shout out to him. I hope he's doing well. We miss seeing him at the shows that we normally do. Um, I look forward to most of my vacations are scheduled around shows so I really miss the other vendors that that I've become friends with over the years of Joy's tea business so just wanted to put that plug out for Chris. <laughs> 
Guys, we are probably going to sign off. If anyone has any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. But right now, I'm going to raise a glass to all of you for being here. Yeah, it's Tuesday night. I can salute that, right? We've made it, friends. We've made it another week in social isolation. We've all uh, pivoted into our new normal. Who knows how long we're going to be here, but I love that I get to interact with all of you, and it really does make me just feel all right. Thank you, friends. Thank you for all of your support. Once again, share the love. Tell your friends about 20% off. They have until Thursday. A cheers, a toast to all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friends. No matter what you do with the rest of your day, have yourself a quarantini and take care of you. Bye-bye, friends.